if I can get hold of seeing some rugby in Hong Kong, it would just make my day. Are you guys going to teach us? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Let's go. Hong Kong Tiger! That there was my life make bar moment being the mascot. Today and since I, we now have a new set of friends, so I've been I've been really itching to spend a Saturday uh, watching rugby, you know, getting the braai going, having the cold beer. I was with some friends of mine. They also love to go watch rugby on a Saturday. So they told me to, um, you know, find out where in Hong Kong Scottish are playing because apparently they're pretty good. Um, so I thought, let me get in touch with them, find out what they're about because if I can get hold of seeing some rugby in Hong Kong, it would just make my day. Rugby is one of the major played sports in South Africa and also the Hong Kong rugby team is really big here. So what could be better for Himarsha? She really insisted and it was on her bucket list to go and meet these Hong Kong Scottish team people. Hey guys. All excited, ready to go. Um, and we meet the team. I mean these are massive, massive boys. Where are you guys all from? I'm from Australia. England. England. It's a mix. Ah. Oh. Okay. Guys, obviously you've come down to play a bit of rugby. Yeah. Are we ready to go? I'm super excited. Well, for us in South Africa, rugby is like massive. In school, all the cute girls want to date all the rugby boys. So <laughs> it, was, it was like a thing. You go to matches, check out the guys. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't see watching people play for yeah, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, it's a bit scary because you guys are really big. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll, uh, we'll go light on you. Likewise. Go light on us, yeah? Okay, okay, okay please. Likewise. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Go light on your legs. Do not underestimate me. You guys are a bit mad at my marking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know how to play? You know the rules? No. Uh, no, no. no. Not at all. Like so that. are you guys going to teach us? Yeah, I'll teach yeah, you. Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Go and say cut. The guys, you know, instead of just teaching us, they suggested that we should play a game. We're in the Hong Kong Scottish national jerseys and got onto the pitch, ready to roll. All of us in like full, like you know, heavy team spirit, aggressiveness. It was, it was, it was going down basically. Okay, okay, that 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 makes me a little uh, worried. Uh, no, no, I'm actually good. Look Try at it. this frame and look at this frame. Yeah, that's okay, okay, this though. frame. Listen, do not so underestimate. One, two, do three, four, four, four of us. But four of us no? Yeah, but we're yeah. Yeah. We need six four. of you. The thing is, we get onto the field and there's four of us and six of them. And I mean, that's really unfair. These guys are already double the size of us, triple the size of Sana. So there was absolutely in no way we had a fighting chance. So we're going to take Sam. We're going to take Sam. Oh. Sam, please come with us. Oh, come here, blue eyes. Come here, blue eyes. Wow, now we're all. <laughs> now we're all. Woo! <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. So we managed to convince Sam to come on our team, and he was really sweet, and, and you know, he kind of explained the rules to us. Pass backwards, okay. and you're running and trying to score either at that end or that end, whichever way we're playing. Okay. They play dirty, though. Okay, dirty, <laughs> dirty players. Yeah, so watch out for ankle, ankle yeah. trips. Go find yeah, out. go find out. Let's go go find out. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find out. <laughs> infiltrate, infiltrate. Oh, yeah. I want to know what's going on. The best part was that Sana, she kind of sneaked over to their um, their team and, and just heard in on all the secrets of what they were planning to do, what their strategies were. <laughs> Boys, get her up in the air. Oh my god! Oh my god. This is like serious. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I have, I've, got I've got an idea. I've got an idea what's going to happen with us. Use as the ball. In the game. Yeah, I don't mind I that. Just, I, I, just, I just got an idea of what's going to happen with us. 
I'll tell you a few. Watch out for the guy with number eight on the back here. Back to it. Okay. He'll run into you. When he does, uh, put the shoulder in, oh knock him back. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's on you. Look at the side okay. of your shoulders. Okay. No, yeah. it's aggression. It's all about aggression. aggression. Ah, yeah. Okay. You're yeah. meant to spread out and pass four around. I think safety in numbers. Let's all stay close. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pass four around, just run through me. together. Yep. When you have these games, you have uh, names given to each team. Now, of course, we were a completely new team and we didn't have a name. So Sam suggested that we must think of a you know, think of a name. Let's call the Hong Kong Tigers. Okay. Yeah. Hong Kong Tigers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we came up with Hong Kong Tigers, and uh, I think that was quite cool. One, two, three. Hong Kong Tigers. Hong Kong Tigers. Oh my God. Okay, that's go, go, go. I think it's going to be good. It was crazy because it was definitely not going to be a fair game. I mean, you were three girls and two guys, and there were five. Humongous guys in the other team. One, two, three, Josh! So we kitted up, got onto the field, did our stretches, and then was ready to play. You know, their tackling is like wrestling for me. I remember I got the ball right in the beginning and I was just running and running and running, but I had no idea what to do with it. Karan actually got the ball and he scored a goal. Which was amazing because, hello, we are playing against a professional national Hong Kong Scottish. When we ended up scoring the first goal, I think that's when they got a little bit upset. And then they brought it. Marsha was definitely having a lot of fun because uh, it was her dream, it was her bucket list to come and see the Hong Kong Scottish team people. And she didn't only just get to see them, we got to play a game with them. So Marsha was really excited. <laughs> At one point, uh, I really wanted to score the goal because I got the ball again in my hand and I was like, you know, I got to do this. And I think Sam figured out that I needed some help. So he came and he actually picked me up. And then we, we got to score one goal, so that was really cool. I think about this point, this is when I came off the pitch. Because in all the excitement and in my incredible competitive spirit, I ended up getting a stud right through my toe. <laughs> Sorry. You're on. Sorry, you're on. I was like, oh. Stud in toe. Yeah. Sorry. So, while having a little bit too much fun, I proper got involved. I mean, I'd watched the game for like so, so many times, but I've never actually played it. So this is like proper life me Iqbal, because I actually got to play it. And I also got a proper injury. As we were like running through, one of the guys on the opposite side, his steel tip on the bottom of his, of his rugby boots went straight through my toe. So uh, I'm feeling a bit of a crush injury here. So this is where my physio skills come in. It was sad that she got hurt in the meantime. So we were kind of all left on the field alone. Now it was just four of us instead of five of us. And um, it, w it became a pretty intense game. Karan got really involved in the game at one point. He got really serious because I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big boys game going on. And of course, he's the odd one out because he's playing with the girls. <laughs> If I can get hold of seeing some rugby in Hong Kong, it would just make my day. So are you guys going to teach us? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Hong Kong Tigers! Karan actually got the ball and he scored a goal.
Karan got really involved in the game at one point. He got really serious because I think you know it's it's a it's a big boys game going on, and of course he's the odd one out because he's playing with the girls. <laughs> I could literally hear that, like almost like a crack from where I was, from where I was sitting, icing my toe. I could hear it. I could hear it connect with his mouth. That's <laughs> alright. I don't know what I was trying. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I'll go and stop him. Uh, you know, you're supposed to jump onto the other player so that he doesn't cross the line, and I was trying to do that, and he just clobbered me with his. heavy shoulder right in my face like his shoulder in my face i went boom and it was like the worst that has happened to me because i started bleeding from my upper lip from my lower lip everywhere i'm okay yeah, you you see us play like it happens no but this is this is how you no, know it's like play did you need injury exactly you yeah, yeah. Like, i remember this come on okay. yeah, yeah. nice hey, you're injured <laughs> But I guess Karan took it really well because you know boys are boys and they're tough boys like that. So I was feeling a little bit worse for Himarsha still because it was she didn't really get to play the game. But Karan was cool. I think he took it well and uh, he was fine after some. So while we were being knocked off, um, the Hong Kong Scottish managed to score another goal. So it was three-two, which, let's be honest, we all kind of knew that was going to happen. We ended up with a score of three-two, uh, and uh, Hong Kong Scottish team, of course, they won. So unlucky, guys. Obviously, you've come down here for a game of rugby and you've lost. So uh, it's a bit of a twist to this. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to be our cheerleaders. Come on, Bollywood stars, been our cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. Yeah. 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 We get some golf balls for you. Got to do it. Short skirts. Yeah. So okay, so you the cheerleaders, you the players. I get beer and I just. No, you're the mascot. Oh no, no. In all's fair in love and war, and if you lose, you lose, and you got to take it like a good sport. And our punishment was that the girls had to cheerlead, and shame poor Karan had to be the mascot. Okay, plan plan. Yeah. You know that was like a moment for me, and I said, "Yeah, I'll do it." I said, "Yeah, I'll do it," and then I saw the costume. Oh God! Karan had to wear this really, really cute and funny lion's outfit. Do I look sexy? Does he look cute? Girls, do I look sexy? <laughs> Sorry, no, no. Can we no. on the yeah, Does anybody, anybody want to take me out tonight? Not looking lion. Wow. We went on the side and we tried our best. We made complete fools out of ourselves because none of us knew what to do. It's all in the hip. It's all in the hip. It's all in the hip. I've got it. That is totally Bollywood. We're on the field, getting ready to cheer the Hong Kong Scottish team against their rivals for the proper match. It was such an amazing, amazing event. We had these Scottish guys come out in their kilts and their bagpipes doing the national anthem. It was just wicked fun all round. We were cheerleading for the official tournament. Of the Hong Kong Scottish, which is really cool and definitely a life may eat bar moment in itself.
is Sarah and clearly it, it's nothing close to the match we played. Oh, okay. uh, I thank God for that. Thank God for that. Isn't that the can can? Go go go! Come on, go! I have seen live matches but I've never seen a rugby match like I said before so for me it was a lot of fun we were on the field so that was that was fun for me I don't think Natalie has ever ever done this I don't think Sana has ever done this and I'm pretty sure uh, that uh, uh, Mercer has not done this because she was probably the one who was always playing uh, rather than being the cheerleader. Guys, tell me what does a mascot do? I never thought that being a mascot would have been so much fun. One, two, and three. three. That there was my life make bar moment, being the mascot. More, more than, more than the fun that I had playing rugby. I have grown up singing the national anthems at a lot of sports games, so I've always kind of been the national anthem singer, but never ever a cheerleader. But it is life me ikbar, so I'm getting out of my comfort zone today, and I'm being on this side of the line, I'm being a cheerleader with all these lovely people. Being good sports, you know, we actually had such a good time. By the end of it, we put together a routine, we had a cheerleading song. Oh, we were like proper, proper into it. We ended up uh, with a score of 3-2 uh, and uh, Hong Kong Scottish team, of course they won. If you lose, you lose and you got to take it like a good sport. And our punishment was that the girls had to cheerlead and shame for Karan had to be the mascot. Actually, I have seen live matches, but I've never seen a rugby match. For me, it was a lot of fun. We were on the field. We actually had such a good time. By the end of it, we put together a routine. We had a cheerleading song. We will, we will rock you. It's so exciting because, you know, the, our team, uh, for the day, Hong Kong Scottish, they ended up kicking the other team's ass and they ended up winning. And I honestly think we might have had a bit of a hand to play because our positive energy and our, you know, high cheerleading spirit, I think it definitely gave them an extra kind of boost, especially in the 40 degrees. We broke some bones and we broke some records and uh, it was a great, great feeling to be a part of a match, to get to watch a live match, uh, cheerleading for a team that actually won and celebrating victory with a national Hong Kong team. So I think it was a day well spent and a day that ended amazingly well. Girls! Oh my god! Girls! That's Thank you so much for coming to as well today. We obviously, we obviously won the tournament. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. It was something very different, um, a very unique new experience. And I really don't know what else is coming, but I'm just enjoying every moment. And I would say for all of us, this was a very successful and happy day. This is Papa Life Me Ekbar. I'm on the other side of the world. And I mean, this guy, Brian, we went to the same school. You were the West of Boys High, West of Girls High. Yeah. What are the chances, buddy? Very oh, good. Woo! Okay, so like big bar, that's all I can Unreal. This is a life make moment for me because I'm sitting right next to Shimakar's car. <laughs>